Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Girl with the Scalper. This is Dr. Mehek, and I'm here to fulfill your dream to practice as an international or the foreign trained dentist in the United States of America. So, as you all know, that we had been discussing in the previous videos as to how you you can enter into the system of the United States, be it the advanced standing, the DDS, the DMD route, or the residency route. So today is again a very special and a very popular video which is on demand. Like, what are the schools or the universities actually accept the international students? So, there is one thing that the aging population in the United States is increasing, and they need dentists. Now, with the in the addition, the U.S. population is becoming increasingly diverse, and the individuals with the limited English proficiency often have a poor health system and creating this need for the multiple healthcare practitioners with the multilingual skills I can actually further uplift the dental scenes in the United States and create more opportunities for international dentists to pursue their careers but there are many different routes which you can take up be it the advanced dentistry program or be it the other ones now to earn a DDS or the DMD in US, the international dentist must join this advanced courses, uh, which can mean actually starting from the scratch, be it entering into the first year and then coming out with the normal batch of the students and completing your four years. But these advanced standing programs does not actually focus on the specialization, but rather on all the subjects which are taught. So it is basically a bridge course, which is made for the international dentist. To become equivalent to the US ones and after two years of practice can get into the United States and be eligible for the dental licensure. Other route is the dental residency. Now it is similar to what we know as the post graduation or the PG which we do or the MDS. Now, admission to this residency programs can be done via the Adia Pass website where you have to cre sorry create your profile or by the national matching service. Now are you curious to know how the schools actually accept these foreign trained dentists? Now, the most important thing is the visa status. As you all know, as you go to United States or maybe Canada on your visitor visa or in US, it is known as the B1, B2 visa for business as well as for leisure. Now, you go on this visa, you give your exam and then you have to come back because you can't stay, right? For a longer duration, I must say. Now, to study, they need a visa which is also known as F1. Now, let me tell you an interesting thing that uh, the 36 dental schools out of the 66 dental schools which are in US actually accept international dentist, dental students and US offers the opportunities of the, to these foreign dentists to complete the 24 month long DDS program. Now, there are a different pathways for the foreign trained dentists, but students usually join in the second year by participating in the all the ongoing clinical or the preclinical lab courses, participate in additional and specially designed pre-labs and seminar programs. And then upon successful completion of that short duration of the second year, students are fully integrated into the normal class where they, take, they can take part in the academic and the clinical experience of the third year and fourth year students. Now, in advanced standing programs, the foreign trained dentists, that is the class size of each university, can be as, la as large as 85, which is in the Boston University. So mostly 85 students are accepted in Boston. And usually there are 500, 600 seats for all the 3000 applicants. Now, now entry requirements for these, as you all know, is INBDEs or the NBD part one, part two, then the TOEFL, then the foreign dental school uh, credentials and the transcripts which are required. Some of these schools also want to check out their bench tests, some case presentations and a formal interview. So let's see what are these schools, what schools are there which actually accept the these courses or these students. Now these are the University of the Michigan, Boston University, Carolina University, UPenn. Again, it's a certain list and I'll be pointing out only the very popular ones. Then there's Rutgers University then University of Buffalo, again Ivy League, then Loma Linda, Temple University. Then coming on to the universities which actually accept non-US residents, that is the international dentists, they have 
now here there's there are two situations one those who have done their you know bachelors from the southeast asian countries then they move to us we it they got married or they got shifted by their family or or they were prior to us or canadian prs or the citizens most many students do is from these countries they come to the southeast asian countries where the fee structure is very less they pursue the dentistry then they go back they pursue two years of uh, the dental school and then they can practice because in united states what is very popular and as well as in canada is you have to do an undergraduate course which has to be of a three or a four year course be it bachelor's of science or the pre meds or the pre dentals now it is mostly of four years then you give your dat exams the dats which is also known as the uh, which is equivalent to the neet score in india to be precise and then you enter into dental school in your first year so generally it takes mostly 8 9 10 years to get into a dental school to complete a dental school and as compared to india where you can just give your neat exams after your 12th grade and then you can uh, directly enter the dental school so that four year gap is reduced so again uh, being a little off topic let's come back to the discussion for today that is the dental residency programs for international students now i'll be showing you all uh, the schools which accept the certain uh, specialties so first will be the aegds now one advantage of getting into residency is in some schools they don't uh, require you to submit your tuition fee so it's uh, an excellent thing and these aegds uh, are again very popular you can even pursue aegd of one year and get registered as a licensed dentist in the united states there is one state and i'll be discussing about that very soon So for AEGDs the popular programs include the University of Connecticut now there are certain schools which don't even require INBDEs I'll be sharing the link somewhere up here uh, in the box so you can check that out as well that what are the schools and what are the specialties which you can pursue without even even your INBDEs just the TOEFL score and your transcripts are required then for again for AEGDs University of Connecticut then University of Maryland Boston University Temple University all of these are very popular then for dental public health there are three universities which accept that is the Arizona School of Dentistry Harvard School of Dental Medicine and Boston University then for endodontics again i'll be picking up there is a, a long list i'll be picking up just the very important ones that is very popular that is USC Astro School Loma Linda then uh, university of illinois again boston university university of maryland taft these are very popular in accepting international students then upenn and then there is uh, the university of texas school of dentistry in houston again very popular then for the gprs it is the howard university then tufts then uh, metro health medical school center then the ebington memorial hospital again guys you have to go to the dia pass website you have to check out what are all the prerequisites again i'm this is just based upon my research you have to do do your research yourself as well and this is just a disclaimer so in the end of the video we'll be discussing and sharing about uh, certain uh, how can you enter the information and how can you get all the prerequisites then the jart dentistry again a very popular and upcoming uh, branch of speciality now this can be pursued in the usc astro school and the howard school again implantology now the interesting thing about doing implantology is you can pursue this for one year and then you can get yourself registered in one state which is the new york state you can practice there as an implantologist and which is actually quite new and you can do your research as well for the new york state how can you register there and you will get a catch there then there's operative now operative is generally provided now in india mostly the operative and endodontics is uh, you know provided together but here these are different branches so you can pursue the usc astro at usc astro school boston university and the unc chapel popularly known as university of north carolina chapel hill then there's oral medicine where it can be pursued in again in india the oral medicine and radiology is done together oral pathology is done separately So Harvard School of Dental Medicine and and UPenn can offer you oral medicine. Also many of you might have done your masters in your home country and now you just want to pursue as a dental specialist. So again you can enter these programs you can do again your residency for two year three year residencies and then you can come out and practice as a specialist. 
The maxillofacial pathology can be done at University of Florida and Harvard School of Medicine. Then radiology that is at the University of Connecticut, Iowa, North Carolina, Washington State. Now for Washington State, they actually prefer students who have then done their graduate school, the schools they've done their bachelors or the undergrads from um, the accredited dental school. Then again, maxillofacial surgery again very tough to crack because they also have another uh, prerequisite which is giving the CBSE and BME exams and uh, mostly no information is present on the internet regarding that exam so the universities which offer are University of Florida, Maryland University, then Tuft School, then Boston, then UNC Chapel and University of Puerto Rico. Then for orthodontics again I'll be picking up it is I would say for many orthodontists out there or those who aim to become an orthodontist you should check out these programs because there are many programs and there are some certain programs as well which do not even require INBDEs so you should check them out. Again there can be certain money constraints there might there might be schools which don't require INBDEs but they do require a tuition fee. Again if you can fund yourself again you have if you have uh, enough uh, to uh, fend for yourself then you should do check out these universities or you have any uh, you know uh, financial aids now in the upcoming video I will be discussing about how can you plan these financial aids as well to pursue your dentistry so the popular schools are University of Connecticut then uh, University of Louisville then Maryland University Tufts Boston then uh, Rutgers and uh, then there's UNC Chapel Ohio State University UPenn Puerto Rico and uh, the University of Texas then for pediatric dentistry, it can be University of Alabama, then again California University, Loma Linda, again very popular, University of Connecticut, then Maryland, Tufts, Rutgers. For prosthodontics, you have this again a very big list from University of Alabama, California, Connecticut, Illinois, Louisville, Howard, Tufts, Boston, University, then University of Pittsburgh, Marquette University, again very popular. For the advanced learning programs so now we'll be seeing how can you search for these programs depending upon the name of their schools so stay tuned so let's just see the adia pass website the search engine now here you have to search the name of the school so we we'll pick a very popular school which is uh, the herman ostro now we'll here see that what are the options that the school can provide so there are many options from endodontics to gpr to maxillofacial orofacial pain again very popular so we'll pick up any of these programs so let's just say uh, we, we we can check out periodontics prosthodontics so we'll pick up here uh, the pediatric dentistry and uh, let's just see how it works what are the prerequisites which are required and uh, what should be then also mind you uh, there is a high possibility that uh, some of the programs might not even require INBDs so here we have the information the details of the school the deadline again very important then certain details also if you're already a pediatric dentist you can always attach your certificate and maybe increase the chance of getting into the residency program then certain details uh, about where you have to send again some other details uh, which we need to see here uh, the program description uh, which might be there and uh, something uh, which we will see further on about uh, the other details regarding the INBD requirements so here they have said no and again it's not that you don't have to give you have to give an bds you have to have your scores but you don't have to send that only when asked you have to send the requirements when you are selected then certain details about the fee which is required then the details about the date uh, when will be the interviews and about uh, the other uh, prerequisites that is here as a pediatric dentistry uh, now what we should check out is uh, whether we are eligible or not or just the US or the Canadian PRs or the citizens are uh, required right so here we have that you need to give the INBDEs but again again you can submit if you are international student you have done your 
bachelor's in your home country or some other country you have to submit your transcripts you can you are eligible you will be selected but again the last prerequisite if you got married there and then you got to look for the program again don't forget to like share and subscribe to my video and also click on the bell icon so you get an update and do follow me on my instagram as, as well and uh, stay tuned with me we'll be coming up some, with some more interesting videos and the next video would be hopefully be about how you can manage your finances and how can you fund yourself and fend yourself in the united states so till then bye bye